Today we're going to try a unique design on this minnow. Let's get to work. First we'll put on a base coat of opaque white. I'm going to use Createx Wicked Pearl Lime Green as an undercoat. I really like how this color pops and I hope to use it soon for another lure. But for this lure it's going to be more of a fine detail. Next I'm going to use some random mesh to preserve some of the lime green. I'm going to use the mesh as a single layer as opposed to folding it over and doubling it up. With the mesh on, I'm going to add a coat of opaque red. While I'm painting, I get the idea to try something different, so I try to mask out the gill plate with some tape. I then put opaque black in the brush. I paint the opaque black at an angle, so some of the red will kind of be preserved. You can see how the red remains behind the mesh. While painting, my initial plan kind of goes a little sideways. I put some opaque white on a paintbrush and use it to create a splatter effect. I carefully flick the brush to create little droplets. It's time to reveal what I've done so far. Honestly, I don't really like the way it came out, but I'll finish off the details and see what it looks like. I cut out a stencil from cardstock for the pectoral fin. While the design looks interesting, it's not quite what I was going for, so I took it to the sink to wash off the paint to start over. While I was cleaning it, a cooler design revealed itself. I like how the black worked its way into the fine details. It's time to add the super glue and the eyes. With the epoxy clear coat tools together, it's time to mix and apply. The lure spins for 3 hours and then dries for 24. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.